Kwame Brown made his presence on social media felt when he started to use his platform to speak out against all the people in the NBA community that criticized him throughout the years. Back then, Kwame was characterized as one of the biggest NBA busts. There were often jokes about him being a lousy basketball player who never achieved anything important and meaningful in his career. Now Kwame is taking his turn to respond to all the people that criticized him while debunking some of the myths and false information they shared through those years. The first one was about his time with the Washington Wizards, who drafted him as the first pick straight out of high school. Kwame shared how Michael Jordan never wanted him on the Wizards, and they were looking to trade him for Elton Brand, but since that deal didn't come through, they decided to keep Kwame and made his life and career an absolute disaster. They used to force me to work out for two and a half hours before games. Then they sat me on the bench until we were down by 30 with a couple of minutes left in the game. As soon as I made any little mistake, the coach would be on the sidelines cussing and ranting like we were losing the games because of me. MJ never wanted me on the Wizards from day one. He drafted me to trade me for Elton Brand, but the owner of the Wizards blocked the trade. Said Brown via Bus Life. He also talked about his conflict with Charles Oakley, who constantly threatened Kwame he would beat him up. As a teenager, no matter who you are, this is the type of situation where you can grow and develop as a person and a player. They used to bring old veterans into practice just to have them foul and beat the crap out of me every day. I had Charles Oakley threatening to beat me up. I was an 18 year old kid. Y'all thought I was weak. I'm one of the strongest men, y'all know. If y'all experienced what I experienced at the age of 18, y'all would have been looking for the highest bridge to jump from, the Kwame Brown bus life. He also touched on his goal and dream to help his mom, which he eventually did, which is the goal for many young NBA players from challenging family backgrounds. When Kwame became an NBA player, he kept his promise and helped out in any way he could, so whenever someone called him a bust, he believes it was entirely uncalled for based on his achievements. I told my mama at the age of 5 that I would move her out of the project. I was a free lunch kid with holes in my shoes. I bought my mama a new house on a golf course at the age of 18 and y'all spent the past 20 years trashing me and calling me a bum, Kwame said. He also stressed out that he finished high school with the highest honors and eventually had a 12 year long NBA career which definitely doesn't sound like someone described as a bust. I graduated from high school with honors. I qualified academically to attend the University of Florida on a full ride scholarship. I lasted 12 years in the NBA and y'all made me the poster boy for being a loser. If that's what a loser looks like, then more black boys should become losers, said Brown. It's great to hear his side of the story regarding all those allegations and bashing that was going on for the past two decades. Kwame used the opportunity to address all of those false accusations while demanding more respect for his name, and rightfully so. Even though he never achieved a career that is expected from the first pick, he played in the NBA for over a decade, which can be said for many other players.